It's been called the most restrictive abortion law in the country. President Joe Biden has stepped in to stop it, and pro-choice and pro-life advocates are watching very closely. Even though this is happening 1,300 miles away, UT10's Daisy Caruso shows us how the Texas law could have an influence on Ohio policy. The Texas law is causing discussion across the country and energizes protesters like these in front of Capital Care Clinic in Toledo last week. Texas's policy bans abortions at around six weeks when a fetal pulse can be detected. It does not make exceptions for rape or incest, but it does sometimes allow medical exceptions if the case is severe enough. But could Texas's law influence policy in Ohio? Dr. Sam Nelson, a political science professor, says yes. A bunch of states are looking to pass similar laws to what Texas did, uh, kind of following their example. Ohio hasn't started that process yet. Uh, Ohio certainly has um, a number of abortion bans that have been debated or in the legislature that have been passed, that have been discussed. Uh, so we might very well see uh, an even bigger push in Ohio towards limiting or eliminating abortion rights. Kristen Haiti, who works at Capital Care, Toledo's last abortion clinic, worries about how this could affect the rights of the patients there. With uh, abortion trap laws, it's a domino effect. One state passes, every other state takes notice, and they'll do the same thing. We already know these bills are being filed in other states. It's only a matter of time before they come here, and we have to be prepared to fight them back. Peter Range from the Catholic Diocese and the director of the Office for Life in Toledo hopes that more policy like Texas's gets passed across the country. For me, the abortion issue is about uh, bringing about a culture of life. And so any legislation which advances the law forward to create a culture of life, I would be all for. In Toledo, Daisy Caruso, UT10 News. There have been several efforts put forward to stop the law, including President Biden's Department of Justice suing Texas. The hearing in that case is Friday. The Supreme Court will also hear a case concerning a similar abortion ban in Mississippi in December.